Hey Supremes, it's your girl Sophia Marie back today with another video. Um, today's video is going to be about, as you can see in the title, the second trimester of pregnancy. Um, everyone's, you know, trimesters go differently, everybody's pregnancy goes differently. I will be telling you about my experiences, the pains I felt, um, my cravings, so stay tuned and enjoy the Haven's got the smoke. So first things first, let's talk about your weight during the second trimester. So if you're like me, then in your first trimester, you probably lost some weight. Um, this is due to the fact that your body is going through so many changes and a lot of people are nauseous in the first trimester. I was very nauseous. Um, I was still a little bit nauseous in the beginning of the second trimester. I've passed that stage now, thank God. Um, I was like 113 like during my first trimester and a little bit of my second trimester and I'm starting to gain like my weight now. But yeah, I wasn't like super big i'm still not super big um and i'm petite like i'm a small person anyway so i don't expect myself to get like super big which is there's nothing wrong with if you do um it just depends on your body type um but don't be alarmed if you start losing weight at first because you know due to not eating not having an appetite and due to nausea um you're gonna lose weight you just are um, and there's nothing wrong with that because I promise you'll gain it back in the second trimester. Um, but some of the things that I was eating during the first trimester that helped were like, you know, noodles. I was eating like these Asian noodles. They're like spicy. They're in like this red and black packaging. I think it's called like shin shin. I don't know. But those, let me tell you, they were good. And that was like the only thing I could eat. I'm like give me more noodles and if I would only get two I would finish those two in like a day and have to go right back to the store to get two more the next day like so I was I was on them noodles really heavily um and then like salads like cold things things are well the noodles are hot but I don't know I guess it was just like soothing for me so I could eat that but salads um salads were like a yes like oh like cold salads with ranch croutons maybe like some some grilled chicken in there something i don't know but salads are a yes um and then smoothies i like grocery shopped for you know like those frozen fruit that you put in like smoothie drinks in the blender like fruit smoothies all of that like because it's cold and it's refreshing and it's not just water you know like it's something else it's kind of like a juice you get like a juice from um fruit and it was just i mean fruit is good for you anyway so you should have fruit like throughout your pregnancy um some people are allergic to fruit you should definitely have some vegetables throughout your pregnancy like you should definitely just try to be healthy um i haven't been that healthy honestly like i have vegetables with my dinner but i don't just sit and eat vegetables all day like and then I had fruit in the beginning of my pregnancy, but now that I'm in my second trimester, I don't really eat fruit that much. Um, but yeah, even during the second trimester, noodles, salads, smoothies, fruit, like that's gonna be your go-to. Um, but when you don't have an appetite, that's what I would say to try is those things, um, those foods, because for one, they're small and they're not too heavy on your stomach. Um, like burgers, meat in the first trimester, I wasn't playing with it I'm like no it's just not it's not doing it for me and that was hard to gain weight because you're not getting your protein so that's another reason why you shouldn't worry about gaining weight in the first trimester you're gonna gain it in the second I gained I was 113 in the first trimester right now I'm in my second trimester and I'm 126 so I gained over 10 pounds y'all I gained 13 pounds um just between those two trimesters and that's only within a couple of months so I don't know how much more I'm gonna gain but I wouldn't be alarmed if I were y'all and 
lost weight in the first trimester at first I was scared I'm like why am I not getting weight like am I gonna be you know big enough to carry a child and we're doing just fine over here so don't worry about that that's the cravings um pains that I want to warn you all about for one like let's just start with one the others aren't that bad this one in specific though round ligament pain child I don't know if y'all knew what this was before pregnancy if y'all not pregnant right now like if you've never had a pregnancy I'm here to tell you about it because nobody told me about it round ligament pain hurts like is no other way to put it like I'm not even gonna sit here and try to sugarcoat it for y'all it hurts so let me explain what that is um basically your ligaments are stretching your body is stretching um so you can get prepared to carry a human being so your body has to stretch every muscle every ligament has to stretch so it sounds painful and it is um I'm going to explain to you what the feeling is like so that if you do get it, you can be like, that's what that is. Like, yeah. So it feels like heartburn in your side, like, excuse me, um, in like your low back, like your low side, back, whatever. It's in your hip, hip. That's what the word is. It feels like heartburn in like your hip or your lower side, back, like it feels like death and it's not cute it's not fun um some of the things that i did to help this which i'm gonna give you all some solutions they're not permanent solutions but i mean they they get you through the time period because honestly like you might have it for about a week like straight week like you're not gonna feel like doing anything that week it's just it's not gonna be a fun week so get yourself prepared um there is something in my eye all sorry oh that's not cute okay we're better we're back so something that helped for me is um babe got me a pregnancy pillow um and if you wrap yourself around the pregnancy pillow or just like you know stay off of the side that it hurts on you know wrap your body around the other side sleep on the other side because you're not going to be able to sleep on the side that it hurts on like it's just it's going to be a very uncomfortable week so just prepare for that um if you don't have a, preg a pregnancy pillow wrap your body around your partner like anything to sleep because during that week i can honestly say like i woke up during the night so many times like and babe's just in there peaceful peacefully sleeping like just hmm, and i'm like up like i can't sleep like ugh, help like it was it was bad it was all bad all right so that's gonna help and then baths i took warm baths hot baths whatever and it kind of soothed soothed the pain um but it only does that while you're in there once you get out it's like i'm back <laughs> like hey girl i missed you like it comes back so if you don't plan on like being a mermaid or a fish during your whole pregnancy then baths are only gonna work temporarily um and then there's another move that i i learned from my doula now i'm not having a water birth i would love to have a water birth we can talk about that a little bit more when i drop my third trimester vi video which i'm not in yet so i can't really talk much about it um but i did get like a doula just to kind of get advice from because during this time of like this virus and everything doctors aren't seeing patients as much as they were like they're doing a lot of video visits and I just didn't feel super supported during my pregnancy with this virus because they're trying to keep everybody safe by keeping everybody out of the hospitals but I do think for pregnant women we should be supervised way more than they are supervising women right now um so I didn't feel super supported so I got a doula um and she was just like you know super supported throughout the whole process i still keep in touch with her um even though i'm not going to use her for my birth you know she's still giving me advice and things like that so she taught me a move called sifting and it's like basically you get a sheet and either your siblings or your parents or your significant other like they put it around you so let's let's say let's say babe's right here and i have a sheet and he's like pulling it back and forth around my hips um that's basically how it works you just you sift like around the person's hips and you kind of 
do it a little bit hard so that they can feel it um and i will say that that worked a little bit you definitely have to be consistent with it i wasn't super consistent with it because it required standing up and i just wanted to lay down like i just wanted to lay down the whole pregnancy or the whole week of the round ligament pain i just didn't want to be up like that so we weren't super consistent with it but we did it maybe about four or five times um during the time that i was having that pain um so yeah it did only last like a week on one side and then i had like a week off i was chilling i'm like great like i don't feel terrible anymore and then it came back on the other side so it's it's not great y'all it's just not great um and it happened in the beginning of my second trimester so around like 16 weeks like i would say it was just it was bad um another pain that i will say to work or watch out for is like headaches like for me um my headaches weren't super bad but i know that a lot of women do get like really bad migraines um for me that wasn't the case but you know watch out for that make sure that you're drinking the amount of water that you're supposed to um we are in summer right now summer's kind of ending but for me i am anemic so i have to keep myself like really hydrated and if you are anemic that's another thing like you need to have your medicine for anemia and you need to keep yourself hydrated um or else you just won't have the energy to do anything and you'll feel like crap and we don't want that we have too cute to feel like crap right right okay so headaches and then leg cramps so i was sleeping the other day and the leg cramps came like recently i was sleeping the other day and i woke up randomly like it's about five in the morning i would say i wake up randomly and like a charlie horse just shoots through my leg and i just felt like i would never walk again <laughs> like i felt like i would never be able to walk again i felt paralyzed i was like ah like you know when like you want to scream but nothing comes out that's what it was i was like like it was just like i was like babe 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 help 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 and you know he can't do anything he's just, he's asleep and he wakes up he's just like you good like what's what's going on like and like my leg is just just dying like it's just dying and so i like try to like move it and like get up like basically what i try to do during that time is kind of like flex my foot that's what i try to do it's easier said than done i don't it's hard because it hurts um i really don't know what to say to do in those situations i just know that's one of the side effects that i've been getting and i'm just like can we like not do this again like can we stop <laughs> can we can we be good on this like we've done um and then back pains so my back pains haven't been terrible but like you know you do have to change the way you sleep at night. If you used to sleep on your stomach, girl, it's a no. Sorry, like, <laughs> you gotta change the way you sleep. And I am one of the ones that used to sleep on my stomach. So I'm not taking these news very well. Like, I'm sleeping on my side and I'm just kind of like, mm, I want to get on my stomach now and I can't. So be, be careful with that, guys. Your back is probably going to start hurting. Um, it was, at first it was my lower back um when that happens because of the fact that there's a virus and um i know that where i'm at in cali massage therapy places they just not open like there's no spas open nobody can touch each other so at this point i would just say your significant other like have them give you massages like that's that's really that's all that you can do um again baths you know hot showers do things that are going to relax your muscles um and then like the upper back will start hurting too really just the same thing like get somebody that you trust or somebody that loves you and cares about your back to massage it because at the end of the day like we have very limited resources pregnant women right now we have very limited like we can't get a massage we can't see our doctor you know because we're nervous and our, it's our first pregnancy and we have questions you know we just we can't so um just do the best you can you're doing great girl you're doing great um foot cramps i had one of those the other day too it was like when i was putting on my shoes and 
I was about to get up and start walking and I got like a toe cramp like my toe is just like nah like let's stay inside today and I couldn't so I was like mm. and it just it stayed like that for like a cool 10 minutes and I was trying to again flex my foot like I think that that works in those instances maybe it doesn't but I think that it does um that's all I can really say is try to you know flex your feet move it around get the blood circulating and flowing that's all like <laughs> I don't know about that one um and then another pain which you're gonna get regardless of who you are you're gonna get sore boobs um I'm not used to having boobs so <laughs> it's a little bit different for me um I've always been like small chest like you know a b um and right now like right now they're cool but you're gonna have your days where they're just, they're just sore and heavy and then you know you're oh i don't really want to say the word on here i'll get demonetized um you know the little <laughs> the thing that the baby sucks on you know for food that um those are gonna get tender and they're gonna start like hurting a little bit get a little bit sore um as far as that goes, I would just say again, significant other, specifically significant other, because who else would do the massaging on that area for you? Just saying. Um, have them, you know, massage that area. Um, be gentle, you know, but that's kind of sums it up for the pains of the second trimester. Um, as far as movement, you're going to feel some movement second trimester, so that gets fun. Um, I've definitely started feeling kicks. I started feeling kicks weeks ago, actually, maybe about a month ago. I started feeling movement about a month ago. Um, my baby kicks, she is a soccer player. <laughs> she is a kickboxer. <laughs> she kicks. So, you know, sometimes the kicks can wake you up from your slumber, you know, wake you up from your sleep um she kicks after i have something sweet so that's what i've noticed about her whenever i finish with something sweet she's kicking she's she's going um the kicks feel like something's poking you from the inside of your stomach that's it like it's not it's not painful you're gonna get those kicks that are like really low um and those are kind of uncomfortable because it's like, oh, it feels like you're kicking my uterus, great. Like, so those are a little bit uncomfortable, I will say. Um, but yeah, she kicks when I have something sweet. She'll kick my side. She'll kick my front. She'll kick my other side. She'll kick really low. Um, it's nice. It's kind of nice. Whenever I try to record her kicking, she will stop immediately. So I think it's safe to say my child is gonna be funny style she is not gonna she's not a performer <laughs> to say the least she's gonna be anti like girl don't record me i didn't give you rights like okay sorry <laughs> um so yeah she she's hilarious um it'd be feeling like she having like a whole dance party in there like getting it because she really be moving um and sometimes like it she'll kick like one side and like maybe hit the other with a hand or something i don't know but it'll feel like a wave when she's in like two places at once or if she's on one side of my stomach and the other side at the same time and she's just moving or trying to get comfortable it'll just feel like a wave in your stomach and it's just i don't know it's kind of cool um and they know your voice at this point they they know your touch so it's just dope you know creating that bond creating you know that relationship so I don't know it's fun um as far as appointments during your second trimester you're gonna have your gender appointment um for me I found out the gender in the first trimester um I actually went to a facility and they were able to tell me the gender in the first trimester so that was fun um and I was like super juiced about that um, but yeah, normally you wouldn't get your appointment to find out the gender until the fifth month. So I think like your 20th or 20 week appointment 
Um, it may be sooner, but because of this virus, for me, it wasn't until I was 20 weeks because, you know, you're not having appointments as frequently as you would if the virus wasn't happening. Um, and then you have your screening. So that's for like, you know, Down syndrome, things like that. Um, you have your blood screening. So I had that one and then I had my gender appointment. And those are the only two I think I've had during the second trimester. Um, I have another one like coming up right before I hit third trimester and that's when we talk about like di digestional diabetes or yeah digest I'm trying to see if I'm saying it right yeah digestional diabetes um and that's where we talk about that and I think it's like another ultrasound so it's a couple of things in that appointment um but that one comes like later so I probably won't talk about that one with you guys until my third trimester um video um and then as far as like side effects, I would say that, you know, I'm getting acne. Um, some people glow during pregnancy. I haven't glown, glown. I haven't like glowed, like I get acne. Um, it's starting to clear up now. I've been using some stuff to clear it up because it was like getting really bad at one point and I'm like, ooh child, like, was she not supposed to be doing this to me? Like, sis, I thought we were friends, like. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I got acne, you may get acne, you may glow, really depends, um, I hear it depends on gender, so I hear with a boy you glow, with a girl you get acne, I don't know if that's true, but yeah, so, I'm getting acne, all I would say with that is like, get a skincare regimen together and use it and be consistent with it, cause I got like a skincare routine together, like, two days after I started getting acne and then my acne started clearing up and I didn't have a skincare routine before that so you know it didn't take long for my skin to clear up I was just kind of like why am I breaking out um and then you're gonna get a big appetite like so during this trimester like right now I have a super big appetite I will be hungry eat something and then 30 minutes later feel like I haven't eaten all day like so get a lot of things to snack on you know eat big meals but also have snacks because you're gonna be hungry and if you're hungry and don't have anything to eat <laughs> you're gonna be angry because <laughs> i know for me if i'm hungry and i haven't eaten i'm just not a fun person to be around like i'm just not um and then another thing to look out for is hair growth so for me my hair has gotten thicker um, I haven't noticed length because I don't straighten my hair often, so I wouldn't really notice if it's gotten longer lengthwise because I do have curly hair, so it's kind of hard to see. Um, but when I wash it, I do notice that it hangs lower than it would before, so I do think mine has gotten longer and thicker. I've definitely noticed, noticed the thickness, um, but yeah, your hair is supposed to grow during this time, so that's one of the one of the side effects that i'm like okay like gusses gusses like you know okay like cool i'll take that um but yeah look out for that some people experience hair loss i think that one is more so during postpartum if you get postpartum um but i haven't experienced any hair loss only thickness so yeah those are just little things to watch out for um and yeah i think that pretty much sums up the second trimester i will insert a clip of my stomach right now and where it's at um i don't think y'all could see it right now uh, yeah y'all can't see it i'm recording on my laptop so don't mind that um but yeah i i will include a little clip of my stomach now and what my stomach looked like in the first trimester and then please like comment and subscribe for a third trimester video um of course i won't get it out until towards the end of the third trimester because in the beginning i'm just going to be experiencing it pretty much so please like comment and subscribe um let me know if you guys would like to see more videos like this if you guys enjoy videos like this and go follow me on instagram twitter snapchat and you know dm me questions anything that you guys might want to ask me anything that you guys might want to just tell me if you want to send me well wishes um i am going to put my baby's baby registry up so that if you guys do want to purchase something for her or 
get her a gift or whatever since we're not having an official baby shower because of the you know social distancing we're gonna do a drive-by so if you guys do want to get her something i will put the baby registry in the description box below and yeah look out for other videos and turn my post notifications on so you never miss a video and i will see you guys in my next video Bye bye